It is now my honor and privilege to ask our guest speaker to step up and share some perspectives on our work at Samaritans. As Secretary of Health and Human Services in Massachusetts, Mary Lou Sutters leads the largest executive agency in state government. In her own humble words, she shared that when she entered the School of Social Work at BU in 1976, if someone had told her she'd be a public official, a commissioner of mental health, and a cabinet secretary, she would have said, I don't think so. But in her commitment to serve others and working tirelessly for the betterment of the lives of the most vulnerable among us, she has risen to challenge after challenge and enriched our communities. Mary Lou has never strayed from her core belief of supporting others. She led Massachusetts Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Children, served as the Commissioner of Mental Health in Massachusetts, and has also worked in the private nonprofit, as a private nonprofit executive advocate and college professor. She is currently leading efforts to address the opioid epidemic, strengthen the Department of Children and Family Services, and to ensure sustainable mass health for all of us. We are so fortunate to call Mary Lou a friend of Samaritans, and it's incredibly inspiring that she is taking time for her demanding schedule to let us know how much she truly cares about our work to reduce suicide in the Commonwealth. Her efforts to advocate for Samaritans and to support our organization are directly contributing to our growth and services. Please join me in giving Mary Lou a warm welcome. Good morning, everyone. Oh, come on, good morning. All right, so I'm, I'm not competitive at all, but I'm gonna do this one, two, three. So on the count of one, two, three, I wanna shake these chandeliers with you on breaking the silence. So you ready? And besides, it gets to fill up your lungs a little exercise. So one, two, three. Break the silence! <laughs> Sorry, Steve, not really. Um, and a shout out to Steve and the extraordinary board of directors of Samaritans. So I've thrown out my, my uh, official notes and let me talk to you from the heart. As a newly minted social work, thanks a lot for telling them what year I graduated from social work school. Um, as a newly minted social worker, my boyfriend at the time, young sister, um, was suffering from what we now know was serious mental illness out in California. And so he went out to California and brought his sister, Stacy, back to the East Coast because I was a newly minted social worker and had a great friend in Golda Edinburgh who was the head of social work at McLean Hospital, helped Stacy find a path into treatment. And she lived with us for several years and decided she was gonna go back to the West Coast. And Bruce and I, at that point, were no longer a couple. And although he's it's still to this day an extraordinarily dear friend of mine, and he called me one day to say that Stacy had jumped from the Coronado Bridge. And he didn't know what to do about that. Um, to this day, his family grieves the beautiful, lovely Stacy Sinclair, and his family in honor of her life and the life of others, um, donated what we know as the suicide bridge that goes over the Coronado, over to Coronado, and with the sign at the top that says, if you're here, please call this number, Samaritans. So that was my journey into understanding um, the depth of pains and silence that affects suicide in families. 18 years ago, I testified for the first time, uh, the first time a commissioner of mental health testified to the Committee of Public Health in the legislature about the importance of suicide prevention. Of course, for me, I thought that was a complete no-brainer, and I remember the, the chair of the um, Public Health Committee of the legislature at the time uh, said, so why is the commissioner of mental health talking to the Public Health Committee and of course, as a social worker, I thought, well, of course I should be talking about suicide prevention and the connection to accessing mental health services 
and the stigma of mental health services. What I can tell you is, and it wasn't, wasn't like the grand testimony of Mary Lou Sutters, um, but that following year, the, te the legislature, every year thereafter, has funded suicide prevention in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts to really break the silence. And while our numbers are, have stubbornly not decreased in Massachusetts, it is important to take heart that we are one of the lowest rates of suicide in the country. And with the power in this room, I know we can continue to break the silence, find the pathways to treatment, break the stigma, have sensible gun safety laws in our great commonwealth, and really reach out to individuals who are in pain and to support their families. And I want to end on one other story, and that why directly impacts Samaritans. So in my journey as Commissioner of Mental Health, I was sitting with a public official um, and was talking about stigma, mental health, parity, all the things I've been talking about pretty much my whole life. And um, he asked if he could talk to me. And I knew that his brother had recently died, and the papers had said it was an accidental death. And so my staff left, his staff left, and he asked if he could share something with me. And he told me that his brother, who was like the best in the family, the athlete, the athlete champion, the, the, the one in the family of five members, would, was the one who was going to excel and he had gone out and he had shot himself. He had killed himself, he had died by suicide. And this public official just started to cry. And I held his hand and at the end of it, he said he felt relieved for the very first time and that I had not judged him. Well, what is there to judge? Because this is all about human connectedness and I held his hand and as we know sometimes, in holding someone else's pain, in sharing that pain with them, allows sometimes for them to find a pathway for hope, connectedness, and, and reducing isolation. He sought mental health treatment. He wanted, he wanted to know whether I thought that that was a weak thing. And I said, no, that is a sign of strength of reaching out. And that is what Samaritans is about. It is about reaching out it is holding someone else's pain. It is being non-judgmental, and by doing such, it opens the door, the door, the pathway to hope, understanding, and treatment. And if you look around the room today, the power in this room is around connectedness, it's about non-judgment, and it's about creating communities for all of us. And that's why when Steve asked me to be here, it is truly my honor to stand with you each and every day on this journey. So thank you so very much. Thank you to Samaritans for what you do. And thank you for all of you for being here this morning. God bless.